What's up ladies? Welcome back to my channel. I have an exciting video for you. I think they're all exciting, but today I have what's in my toiletries and what's in my makeup bag. I'm doing a whole travel series, so if you guys want to see that, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell so you guys are notified. But I just did what's in my suitcase and what's in my carry-on. You do not want to miss it. Also, if you are into these videos, definitely give me a thumbs up. Let me know that these are the type of videos you guys like to watch. It really helps my channel and I would truly appreciate it. So if you guys wanna see what's inside my makeup bag and what I bring with me to glam this face up when I'm on vacation, then just keep watching. First of all, the first thing I wanna show you, this was in my what's in my suitcase video. I'll link it down below, but this is what it is. Okay, I absolutely love this thing. I like bringing this because it just sits on top of the counter. So I get out, I get all organized, I literally unpack when I get there. I'm one of those people. Like I almost feel uneasy when I don't. Let me know if you can relate to that. But I just like to set all my stuff up because if I need to get ready fast, I know it seems like I'm wasting time unpacking, but I can get ready faster. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, it's just what I need to do. So anyways, this is my little bag that I keep on top. This has all my toiletries, okay? So I got this off of Overstock and it has six compartments. So this side is like my hair stuff. This is my scrunchie because I always keep a scrunchie in my hair when I sleep. It's not as harsh as a regular one. I have little clips here, a clip for when I curl my hair, and then I have bobby pins because you never know, you might need to do an updo or something. Okay, then on this side I have Q-tips, toothpicks, and um, cotton squares. And my family uses all of these, so it's nice because like inconvenient, everybody, I just sit on the counter and everybody just grabs out of it. So, then sitting inside, I have this toiletry bag. Now this was in my other video in my travel series, which was what's in my carry-on. Also linked down below. But this goes inside of my carry-on bag, so when I get to TSA, I just pull it out and then I set it down. Then when I get to my hotel room, I take it out and I set it in here, okay? Now there's a couple extra things that I put in here. My hair stuff, I also stick that in here. These are the only two products when I get to the hotel that actually sit on my counter. So I have my solid um, beauty blender cleanser. I have my little double decker um, contact solution thing, clear eyes. And like I said, I use these little baggies because I don't know how many times like things have exploded and these little baggies have saved my life. I get the cute little ones from um, the dollar store. I absolutely love these. Okay, then I have my little kitty cat um, headband. Stick that in there. Then I have my EOS lotion. Then I have some Dove deodorant. Okay, now I have, this is in a different container, but this is um, the Strawberry Rhubarb Facial Scrub by Eminence. I love this stuff. It's very light. You can use it every day. Honestly, I have like, um, my pores get really clogged on my nose and around my nose. So this, I use this daily there, if not every, you know, we're on my face and it really helps. And then I just have a Tarte eye cream. Now I don't normally use this eye cream. Um, I have another one, but like this is what I had and I just brought it on vacation and it's fine Like it's not the best, but it's a really short trip. So I brought that one and then I also have this um, little La Mer Creme de la Mer. I love this stuff like this is a splurge you guys like I absolutely know that this is a splurge I don't I use this sparingly. I put this like in the center of my face because I'm cheap. And even though I bought this, like I buy it because I have like really, I have combo skin and it's dry under my eyes and I like to bake. So this definitely helps that out. And then I have um, cleansing oil that I put in my own little container. And then I have, I got one of these little containers from the makeup store. This is the cleansing oil, uh, oil by Juice Beauty, which is amazing. And then I just have, I actually put, this is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. I put my own stuff in here, which is also by Eminence. It is the, what is that one called? I don't know, I'll link it down below, but it's an Eminence one and I really like it. Eminence is one of my favorite brands. You guys will see those repeated. But um, here's another Eminence thing that I brought with me. It's a strawberry rhubarb hyaluronic serum. This is also really moisturizing. 
um, serum. And then for face wash, okay, I wanna show you guys this because um, I used up the rest of my face wash. But if you guys get a travel container, you could dump it out. This one's for conditioner. I'm gonna dump this out and clean it out really good and then put my face wash in here. So then it's sleek and it's little and it can fit right in here and it works out perfect. And then I obviously have toothpaste, which this is my favorite 3D uh, whitening toothpaste, Crest whitening. And then I have just a little bottle of um, mouthwash and my toothbrush. Okay, so that all goes in here. Now what I like about it is it's time for bed. I need to go to the bathroom and take my face off and do all that stuff. So I pull this out of the little caddy, pull it out, okay? And then I set this on the counter. It could be right on the ledge where the sink is. I open it up, I just start doing my thing. And then when I'm done, I zip it up and I put it right back in here and the counter stays clean. I don't know about you, but does it seem like when you're on vacation, everything is like dirtier and things just like pile up? I have four kids, so it is like a circus madhouse. Like things get wild, okay? And I'm talking about messy. And um, so I just like to do whatever I can to like keep the counter clean. Now I sound like an OCD person, but you know what? When I'm on vacation, I wanna feel good. I don't wanna feel all funky because the whole place has gone to hell. So I keep everything as nice and tidy as possible. Okay, so I'm gonna stick this back in here and then I'm gonna get into um, the makeup portion. Oh, I wanted to show you guys. So this is my makeup bag. Okay, there's nothing in it right now. I'm gonna show you guys how I put everything inside. This is the Nice BB, which I absolutely love this. This is definitely a splurge item. And I've never had a Louis Vuitton. I never thought I would buy one. Honestly, I'm just like, that's all stupid. Um, because you're gonna mess it up. But it does wipe out really nice on the inside. I don't know if you guys are interested in seeing like luxury stuff, well, let me know. If not, I like, I don't have to do those. But anyways, you can wipe it out. It's really easy. And um, I like that. But I wanted to show you guys, I have a couple other options for you. I love makeup bags. Like, like I said, that's the first designer one. I have so many. I want to get rid of them because I have like 50. I love organization, like I said. So I'm like trying to revamp the organization system every time. It's like, you would think I get, would get tired of it. But here's two options, okay? So I found this one at, um, these were both from Ross. And this is by Tahari and it's gold and I love that it's see-through. You could take these little bags out, use them for something else or whatever, but I love clear bags because it helps the organization process so much. Like just like this little thing. Like I love that everything is see-through. Like just at a glance, you can see what's inside. And then just grabbing this out. And then this is the other thing I stick in here. I'll show you guys what's in here in a minute. But this is also clear. I just I like having things that I can see them really easy. So anyways, I think this is a great option. I believe it was $16.99. Like you cannot beat that. Like I really, really like this. Okay, so then this is another one by Tahari. It's really cute. It's got two little zippers, but this is also a good option. I believe this was also $16.99. Just wanna show you guys those because I love like all brands. Like I do not discriminate. If it's cute, it's cute, that's it. All right, then I have, um, okay, so let me show you what was in here, okay? This is a part of my makeup. So when I'm at TSA, I have four kids, so I get to, you know, I pay for tickets. So I get to use those bags, you know, of toiletries for myself. And I use makeup in one um, because I have a lot of liquid makeup. And then I also use one, this one, for toiletries. And those go in here, those are all my liquids. So I'm gonna show you guys the makeup that I brought on vacation. I'm gonna try to go through this really quick and not make this like a super long video. If you guys wanna see my favorites, I can talk about those in another video. But I have Makeup Forever, um, Makeup Forever HD Foundation. I love this, this is one of my favorite. It looks good on, you know, film, camera, whatever, because when you're on vacation, you're obviously gonna be taking a lot of pictures. I have Urban Decay Up All Nighter, and excuse me, everything is all beat up because I use it. Okay, and then I have Smashbox. This is the photo finish. I use multiple primers. Yes, I'm that high maintenance, okay? I like, I need the Becca Backlit Primer. I also use the Marc Jacobs one, but this is the one I had the little sample of. And I use two primers because one gives me the light and gives me the luminescent look, and then the other one, um, fills my pores and makes me look matte in the areas that I want to look matte. It's like, I want to look matte, but I want to look luminous. It's like, make up your mind. <laughs> so anyways, I have the CC cream by It Cosmetics. I really, really love this stuff. Like, um, I had a product in here from It Cosmetics that I didn't really like. Oh, I didn't bring it over here. 
but it was like a, um, I used it on vacation, I'm taking it out. It was their palette um, for contouring and I don't like it, I'm not into it. I love It Cosmetics, but I will always, 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 always tell you guys if I don't like a product, I'm not scared of brands, I'm not scared of people, that's not who I am. I'm always gonna keep it 100 with you guys because bottom line is, I would want someone to tell me and you know what I mean, if we're gonna be friends, like we gotta be honest with each other. So for me, it's like brands can't take it personally. It's just an opportunity for them to revamp a product, make it better and hey, don't be pissed off because not everything can be perfect. You have some amazing products. So I love this It Cosmetics um, CC SPF 50. It's amazing. I'm going to start setting some of this right here. Um, but I definitely don't like the contour one. No bueno. Okay, Tarte Shape Tape. Obviously, everybody knows about this, but it's the best. I mean, let's be honest. Then I have, for liquid um, contour, I have LA girl i always want to say la gear it's like god i'm so from the 90s la girl and um pro conceal i'm a 90s kid okay but that's for con cream contour um i have hand sanitizer in here and then i have a couple of lip liners these are from um what is this color pop and then i have a huda Bo huda beauty say that five times fast huda beauty Liquid lipstick, good lord. Okay, then I have my Makeup Forever um, eyebrow. This is called Aqua Brow. This stuff is the bomb, I absolutely love this stuff. Um, and then I have Makeup Forever, this is what I used to highlight. This is their Creme de Camouflage. I really love this stuff, okay? So that's pretty much all I have in this little guide here. And like I said, I put this in there and this whole thing gets set right on the counter and I'm gonna show you guys in just a little bit how I set everything up on the counter okay all right so then what I keep in here okay my palette this is a Z palette I put together myself it has makeup geek um, Anastasia Beverly Hills and some Mac shadows but this is let me open it up for you guys this is basically oh what are you doing get back boy down boy all right this has all of my um, favorite eyeshadows on it. Like, I feel like I could do everything that I possibly could want in this palette. I have blues, pinks, purples, everything. So I absolutely love this one. This is a really, really good way to get all the colors you want. And I, I like this for vacation. It's nice and sturdy and um, it's everything is in one place, one palette. Keep it simple. Okay, so I just slide that in there. Then I have this thing. This is like my little glitter pouch, okay? I have some of these Makeup Forever Aqua creams in here. Let me show you what one looks like. It looks like this, it's in a little pot. These literally do not come off in the water. I can go down, I could do a face of makeup with this, okay? Not a face of makeup, I actually use it on my face though, the pink one for blush, but I use these as eyeshadow and I do an eye look. They do not come off. I went down one time in the water, I was wakeboarding. I went down and I came up and everybody was like, what the hell? I literally had a full face of makeup on. People were impressed. I was like, yeah, making me look good, okay? Um, anywho, so I have those in there just in case I wanna look fabulous underwater. And then I have this NYX glitter primer. This is for all of my glitter because you never know when you need some glitter or some sparkle in your life. And I have four kids. The Lord knows I need some sparkle put back into my life okay that's after all those shitty diapers I'd be changing okay all right next that goes back into here I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like then I have this little clear pouch okay this has all of my powder products and it has my beauty blenders and they're hella dirty just don't judge me okay don't be coming on my channel and judging me that's not what we're here to do nobody's got time for all that all right, so this is my Studio Fix. I have two different colors, one for under my eyes, one for my whole face. I'm NC42, I'm pretty tan. And then I have this Tarte uh, Park Avenue Princess. I absolutely love this um, bronzer, one of my favorite. It definitely even compares to like my Tom Ford bronzer. I have that as well. And um, I honestly would probably reach for that one first. So that says a lot because that one's expensive. So don't splurge on that one if you don't have to. I would definitely go for the Park Avenue Princess. Then I have this little cutie, it's so cute. Do I have to bring this? No, this is one of those things that I just bring because it makes me feel good, girl. 
This is old. This is from Tarte. I love their set. If you guys like, if they ever come out with cute little things like this, I just buy it for the little container because like I said, containers excite me. But look at this, look how cute it is. These are all the eyeliners um, that I use and you can put them underneath your eyeshadow. You can change um, the color down in your waterline, whatever you wanna do, but I absolutely love this. It's so freaking cute. And I keep this in here just in case I need, you know, a freaking fuchsia or a purple thing. Okay, and then I bring this, this is my hourglass, um, dim light and what other color? Yeah, dim light palette, whatever it's called. Anyways, this is what it looks like. It just gives a diffused look to the face. I love this stuff, I use it. And then also, the one thing I don't have in here is my, um, that I would be putting in here is my Shade and Light Palette by Kat Von D. My favorite contour palette of all time. I'm in medium, I'm not in dark. No, I'm in medium. And I freaking love that, you guys. Like I said, I'm replacing the It Cosmetics one and putting my Kat Von D. The Kat Von D is the one I use at home. And the It Cosmetics, it just did not make the cut. I was like, ugh, I wasn't happy with the way my contour was looking. It wasn't blending as well as the um, Kat Von D one. So definitely that would be going in here as well. So I'm gonna put these in. And this is basically what this looks like after I stick everything in here. Then, also when I get there, this is the one of the things I do. I got like paint or something on it, but um, the brushes are super dirty and dingy. I take these cups, I separate them, I put my face products in one, and then I put my eye products in another one, and I set them on the counter. I'm gonna show you guys, like I said, in a minute, and show you how I set everything out on the counter, but it just makes it super convenient. I'm not like shoveling through my bag, trying to find my brushes, they're in there. I mean, and if you don't have one of these, there's always cups or mugs um, in the hotel room. If you're not using them, I would just suggest putting two little cups on your station and putting them there. But I like this because it houses everything, it protects my brushes, and I just think this is one of those things that's like a good investment and it looks like this and I just stick it in my um, suitcase. So, okay you guys, so this is dirty. Obviously I use it and I didn't clean it. I didn't say it, oh my God, I didn't it. So my curling iron goes inside of here. Now this is my little station, okay? So I lay this out on the counter and I put my two little products down like this and I lay my hot curling iron down. So it is protected, nothing is gonna get messed up, I'm not gonna start a fire, God forbid. And um, I have all my little brushes and everything ready to go. So that is all of my stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm in the bathroom and I just wanted to show you, usually when you get somewhere, there's usually a small side and a big side. I always choose the big side. I give the small side to my husband. I try to keep everything, you know, give other people some room. I lay my flat, ironing pad here down and so I'm ready to plug it in when it's time to go and then I have my little caddy here I have this facing forward so my family can grab this and use it this is the stuff we use most often which is the q-tips um, the toothpicks and the cotton pads like I showed you guys earlier this is my face washing stuff um, and everything else and I told you guys I just stick that right back in here this is um, my liquid makeup like I showed you guys so that's all right there then back here I stick all of my makeup I stick that right in here and when it's time to use it I pull it out and I put everything right back in so like I said all those little pouches I'm pulling out as I go now right here I have the little um, makeup brush holder I showed you guys and I have here's my eye and then my face I bring the minimal amount as possible so then I split them up and it's so easy. But if you guys want, you can get those little cups from the hotel room or plastic cups and you guys can stick your makeup brushes in there. And then I have my hair accessories, um, not accessories, but products. And I just set those in front of my little station, but that's pretty much how it looks. All right, ladies, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my what's in my makeup bag and toiletries. It's just a little piece of what I have. Um, what I use on a day-to-day -day basis. So if you guys wanna see more makeup and skincare related videos, let me know in the down bar below. I'd love to do more videos. Like I said, subscribe, hit that bell, and don't forget to give your girl a thumbs up. I truly appreciate it. Thank you guys again so much for stopping by. I'm always your girl, Lorna Marie. Bye.